are several variables in the physics of the home run. First, the swing speed. The single most important factor in determining home run distance is bat speed. The average swing speed in the majors is around 70 miles per hour. But all things being equal, the faster you swing, the farther the ball will travel. Every additional mile per hour of bat speed adds about six more feet to a fly ball. By comparison, every additional mile per hour of pitch speed adds only one foot of distance. Next, the sweet spot. To get the most out of the contact between bat and ball, a collision which lasts only seven ten thousandths of a second, the batter wants to make contact using the sweet spot. This is the area on the back, roughly three inches long, that produces minimal internal vibrations after the collision with the ball. Contact with the sweet spot most efficiently transfers the energy created in a collision that generates more than 8,000 pounds of force. Next, launch angle. The ideal angle for a home run is 30 degrees. That gives the ball just enough lift to travel the distance while minimizing air time and therefore air drag. To achieve this angle with a typical fastball, a batter should ideally swing upward at approximately a 9 degree angle, making contact with the ball about 3 quarters of an inch below its equator. a player could possibly hit a home run. Well, some physicists estimate that a powerhouse swing on a fastball on a sweltering day in Denver's high altitude with a strong tailwind could send a ball 570 feet, more than 170 feet farther than the average homer in the majors this year. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus. Thank you, guys. And certainly Still think you should swing down? The good news is this ballpark plays a little...